every time. <laughs> sense if I can find it and show you what I'm talking about but I wanted to come and fly my Avata and find the white horse so that I can fly around it because it should look pretty cool. I found it um, I just try. I just went past somewhere where I could actually pull in to park, just here. So I found it. Uh, okay. It's just an hour till sunset now, so I don't have a lot of time to fly and try and get footage that doesn't look too mushy because the sensor on the Avata isn't massive, so the footage won't look great in low light. But that's by the by, I just wanted to come out and fly anyway. And the significance of me coming to this spot was the fact that I, orig I originally came here when I got my Phantom 3 Professional and it was really, it was summertime, the landscape looked awesome. The, yeah, the landscape looked awesome and I got some really cool footage and some cool photos as well. But I just wanted to come back here because I actually wanted to fly the Avata out to the White Horse and see, just really see how close I could get, like the range of the Avata and also just be quite cool, like skipping over, not skipping over, but like going through the, the rapeseed, even though there's not really much of it at the moment. But that's basically the point of the video. But also I just wanted to give you a beginner's perspective from having the DJ Avata and actually flying FPV for the first time. So before I jump in, I just want to mention today's sponsor, which is Epidemic Sound. And for those of you that don't know about Epidemic Sound, they have a music library of thousands of music tracks and sound effects. I've been using Epidemic Sound on my channel for a good few years. The majority of the music on this channel is from Epidemic Sound. But the great thing about right now is the fact that Epidemic Sound have an exclusive discount, which is just for Cyber Week only. So it's only gonna be for five days. So you can get not just a one month free trial, but also two additional months and 75% off a personal plan. So if you've been waiting to jump in and try Epidemic Sound, now is the time to do it because it's an awesome discount. The great thing about the music is that you can find similar tracks to ones that you already like. And also, if you don't want to download a full track, but you can download things called stems where you can pick and choose what you want to take out of the track. So if you don't want the melody or you don't want the bass or you don't want the vocals, then you can strip that out of the track and you can basically just mix and match and do whatever you want with the track which is awesome for more creativity so yeah use the link in the description get this awesome discount and thank you epidemic sound for sponsoring this video okay i've still got some light and actually the sun's come out quite bright now so i'm gonna start flying Okay, so one of the first things that I wanted to talk about was the flying experience and I've flown drones before. The first drone I had was the DJI Phantom 3 Professional and absolutely loved that drone. It was massive so I couldn't take around my other camera gear with me, it was either that or the drone which is why I got rid of it and got a Mini 2 instead. But loved flying that drone and I just love flying drones in general. But FPV is definitely a new experience to me, but I am absolutely loving it so far. And the Avata is so easy to fly. I really thought the motion controller was really strange to use at first. And I found myself like moving my entire arm, which you don't have to do. You literally just move your wrist left and right and then up and down and whatnot. So you don't have to move your arm, but I just felt like it was really strange to fly. But when I actually started using the controller properly, then it felt 
a lot more natural. And one of the things that I do actually want to do is get the RC controller and I almost had it. I got an email to say that it was back in stock and I had the email like an hour before I saw it. I went on, started purchasing it, got to the PayPal screen, then it wouldn't let me buy it because it, within that time it had gone out of stock. So hopefully I'll be able to get another one as soon as it comes out and I'm gonna jump on that. But I do really want to try it with the actual RC controller to see how it feels to fly. But otherwise, it's great. I absolutely love it. And I've really been enjoying using it. One thing that I will say though, is that I definitely get motion sickness. And I tried sitting down to see if this would make a difference, but it didn't really. So I feel like in between battery breaks, I kind of, well, in between switching batteries, I just kind of have a break and then I'm fine. But the motion sickness is definitely real. Um, I don't know how to get past that. If anyone has any tips, that would be great because it's not very pleasant, but that's the only thing that I would say in terms of flying FPV is the motion sickness. make sure it's facing the right way yeah <laughs> be really awkward if it was facing the other way and flew into me of course it's facing that way I can see the camera okay let me sort out my camera settings make sure it's in manual so I want also manual settings so I've got an ND 16 on at the moment I think which is definitely too much. Because of my shutter speed, of course, because it's at 60 FPS. Yeah. Okay, let me just take my, I'm gonna take my ND filter off because I don't actually think I need it because my shutter speed is at 1 120th anyway, so. I've also switched image stabilization off. I wanna put it in gyro flow. But anyway, let's get, let's get going. So in my first video, when I literally flew it for the first time, I did crash, obviously, it was bound to happen, but the drone was fine. I feel like this drone is definitely, um, what's the word durable like if you crash it depending on how you crash it I feel like it's going to be okay in most scenarios and I mean mine was literally a tumble in the grass so I didn't expect it to be damaged or anything and it wasn't but I obviously with something like a mini 3 pro or a mavic 3 or anything like that it's a lot more fragile but yeah definitely more robust with the DJI Avata and one thing that I did really want to try was turtle mode. So when I put my first video up, DJI commented on my video saying that if it flips over or it crashes and it flips over, you can put it into turtle mode and then you can flip it back so you don't have to go and get the drone, turn it over and then um, fly it. But this only this doesn't work with the motion control. I did try, and but there's a way that you have to do the sticks. So this is another reason why I wanted the RC controller because I wanted to try it out. So. When I get the RC controller, I will try that out because that is pretty cool. The other thing that I did watch was a video by the Curious Nomad, which was really useful, about using the GPS in the goggles to find the drone. So when I crashed my drone, I knew where it was, but it took me a little while to find it because I didn't know which tree it crashed into. So I was kind of walking around in circles for a little bit before I found it. But if you use the GPS in the goggles to find the drone, then you can literally bring up the location on your phone and you can just walk straight to the drone and then you don't have to look around and try and find it and spend ages looking for it. So that is something that I haven't yet tried, but I do want to try. So I won't purposefully crash it, I'll just go and leave it somewhere, I'll get someone to leave it somewhere and then I'll try and find it myself on my phone. But in terms of crashing, yeah, I have no worries about it. And also getting DJI Care Refresh definitely puts my mind at ease when it comes to flying because if it flies away or is unrecoverable then at least I know I'll get a replacement. Uh, it doesn't make me more of a reckless flyer or anything, it just gives me less anxiety when I'm flying. I really need to find somewhere that has 
obstacles that I can go around and just practice flying around obstacles that are quite far, spread out quite far. The sky's starting to make that kind of marble effect that you get when it's um, sunset and it's like a clear sky. It looks really cool over there. So in terms of the footage that comes from the Avata, I feel like the first time I flew it was really mushy and that was because it was basically a really grey, dull day. So obviously today it's around sun, it is basically sunset, is going to be in half an hour. So the footage from the goggles actually looked quite decent and I think because I also, I shot in Decine like this time as well, so I will colour correct and colour grade the footage to how I would want it to look. But it actually looked a lot clearer and a lot sharper and a lot cleaner. So obviously that's just me looking at it through the goggles. So when I get it onto my laptop, I'll be able to see better. But I actually took my ND filter off because I didn't need it because like I said, it's really getting down to low light and it's shooting in 60 FPS anyway. And my frame rate is double that of my, no, my shutter speed is double my frame rate. So it was at 1 1 20th of a second so that I could get natural motion blur. So I actually didn't need an ND filter. That was a really long way of saying I didn't need an ND filter. But um, hopefully the footage does look decent. But one of the things that I really hope is that with the firmware update, you'll be able to shoot in... Um, lower frame rates so it'd be nice to shoot in 24 or 25 fps just for more of a cinematic look to the footage so hopefully that's something that comes but honestly the biggest reason that i got this drone was for me to just have a blast and just have fun just flying and just not necessarily shooting footage to be cinematic i just wanted to have something that i could just have fun with you know my mini 3 is going to be the one that i use to fly and get you know really nice cinematic footage when i want to put it in videos and stuff so yeah this is just for me to have fun with so i'm not really that bothered if there isn't a firmware update which allows that because it's not really a big deal light So this definitely wasn't a review of the Avata or even me trying to give you any wise words of wisdom as a pro or anything because I'm literally a beginner when it comes to flying FPV drones. So yeah, I hope this was useful to anyone out there who is thinking of getting one and um, just go for it. Nothing else to say. <laughs> Other than thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video.